When most of a population is immune to an infectious disease, it provides indirect protection, also known as herd immunity. KMR Local 4's Jason Bridge spoke to a local doctor on how that concept applies to COVID-19 here in Amarillo. You have to have a larger percent of the population immune in order to prevent the disease from spreading. Dr. Todd Bell with the Texas Tech University Health and Sciences Center here in Amarillo explains the concept known as herd immunity. You have to have enough um, immune people in the community that your chance of having a, an, a non-immune person uh, coming into contact with someone who's actively transmitting the disease is low enough that the disease can't continue to propagate. But that's a problem when it comes to a disease that no one's seen before, like COVID-19. Dr. Bell says it has an infectious rate between three and four, meaning that for every infected person, on average, three or four people will end up getting infected, which means... We mathematically can calculate what the herd immunity threshold would need to be, and it's probably somewhere between 65 and 70 percent of the total population would have to be immune to the virus for it to die out in our community. Dr. Bell estimates that at the moment, somewhere between 0.5 and 1.5% of the Amarillo population has been infected, meaning that around 98% are still at risk. And with no vaccine, Dr. Bell says the best way to build up that herd immunity threshold? We have to continue to use the only tool in our toolbox, which is that social distancing. In Amarillo, Jason Bridge, KAMR, Local 4 News. Dr. Bell also says that he doesn't expect a COVID-19 vaccine to be available for at least another year.